Hello, campus community. On behalf of student government, we wish you a belated happy Halloween. Despite the notion that student government has not contributed to the new and vibrant life at U of M Dearborn, we have spent the last month destroying this myth. No trick, just treats for the student body. Last month, we have managed to successfully bring forth a marvelous homecoming that was beyond any of our imagination in this summer. Although created in a short amount of time, dedicated members from our campus community and student government, along with other students all over the campus, have worked together to bring about a great homecoming. Throughout that week, student government has helped contribute to the setup of the presidential debates by not only asking students to register to vote, nor stopping at just setting up the event on campus, but myself and a few other members of your government went to the Ford Performing Arts Center on behalf of the university and personally put the event together. For me, homecoming was a huge event that I personally strive for to have on this campus. And I am proud to say that our student government, with the much needed and welcoming help from our student body, was able to bring about a much celebrated and long overdue homecoming for this campus. Members of our student government have also participated in and hosted one of our most celebrated events, Global Fest. Our members of student government have gone to Central Michigan and represented your desire to see tuition lowered, and we are working with other universities in the state to coordinate our efforts in asking the state legislature to provide us with much needed funding. We have worked on extending food services to the schools of management and education. We have been told that more outlets will be placed in the third and fourth floors of the library by fall 2008. Our efforts on this campus are so great that Mayor John O'Reilly Jr. set out the time from his busy schedule to come out to our meeting last week and talk to us about what our student government can do to better the city of Dearborn. As one student has told me this year, how can we earn the degree that makes a difference if we do not make a difference here on this campus? And I'm proud to say that we are making a difference and we will continue to do so. We are looking into efficiently working better with registered student organizations by, newly by the newly established House of Representatives, where each organization would have a greater opportunity to see more action from their student government. The next meeting is Friday, November 30th at 1 p.m., so be there in Coach of Hall to represent your organization. We are also working with the City of Dearborn at the Mayor's request to form a post-secondary commission that will consist of a wide range of students whose input would provide a direction for the city, a course of action to put into place for student housing within the city. Also, we are working with the mayor to promote a great project that will provide railroad travel between Detroit and Ann Arbor and the Metro Airport. This will not only, this will not only have a great impact for the city, but will provide our campus with an alternative and easier method of traveling to the big house. There are a couple of events in November that you should look into. Con uh, Conversation on Race is hosting a forum with the godfather of hip hop, Chuck D, on Friday, November 9th. If you're into being super bad, then join us in watching the movie Super Bad on Wednesday, November 14th, and Thursday, November 15th. There's also going to be a dodgeball tourney, three point contest, dunking contest, and more on Thursday, November 15th as the athletics department hosts Midnight Madness. Come support our basketball team. Last but not least, the Kids for Kids Drive will end off this semester with the Dance for Peace in the Middle East on Thursday, November 29th in Cochapal. All of this information and more can be found on our website. Finally, while we, do, while we are doing our jobs and duties as your elected officials, we are in fact doing this under the greatest strain of reorganizing ourselves. We are in the midst of creating a new constitution that will attempt to get rid of as many, if not all, of the previous problems during elections of past student governments and allow this organization to have not only a def def definitive voice on this campus for all of us students, but also to provide use of our talents that you have elected us into office to the best of our abilities and provide a positive impact that will fit the new direction that this university is heading towards. Ladies and gentlemen, please stop by room 2112 in the University Center for free scantrons, blue books, and decals. Also, if you have any suggestions, please come by our office or, or send us your suggestions at leadershipyoucantrust at yahoo.com, umdstudentgov at umd.umich.edu, or hit up the website at www.umdsg.org. As always, go blue and go wolves.